Larry and Danny Raines, brothers from Michigan, are a disturbing example of how violent tendencies can manifest within the same family, leading to a series of heinous crimes. Their story is a complex intertwining of individual psychopathologies and familial dynamics, shedding light on the darker aspects of human behavior. Early Life and Family Background Larry and Danny Raines grew up in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Details about their early life are sparse, but it's known that they experienced a troubled upbringing. This background is often a focal point in discussions about their subsequent actions, as childhood experiences can significantly impact psychological development. The Crimes of Larry Raines Larry Raines, the older of the two, embarked on his criminal path in the 1960s. His most notorious crime occurred in 1964 when he murdered Maggie Hume, a young schoolteacher in Battle Creek. This case garnered significant attention due to the brutality of the crime and the subsequent trial. Larry's actions were characterized by a cold, calculated approach, reflecting a deeply disturbed mindset. Danny Raines' downward spiral Danny Raines followed in his brother's footsteps, though his crimes were distinct in nature. In the 1970s, Danny, along with an accomplice, was responsible for a series of murders in southwest Michigan. His victims were young women whom he abducted, assaulted, and murdered. The sheer brutality and randomness of these acts instilled widespread fear in the community. Psychological Analysis The Raines brothers' case is often examined through the lens of behavioral psychology and criminology. Experts have debated whether their actions were the result of genetic predisposition, environmental factors, or a combination of both. The concept of nature versus nurture is central to these discussions, with the Raines brothers serving as a case study in the potential for familial transmission of violent behavior. Impact on the Community and Law Enforcement the crimes of Larry and Danny Raines had a profound impact on their communities. They not only instilled fear and grief, but also challenged law enforcement agencies in terms of investigative techniques and community protection strategies. The cases led to changes in policing methods and a renewed focus on understanding the psychological underpinnings of serial crimes. Legacy and Conclusion the legacy of the Rainier's brothers is a grim reminder of the complexities of human nature and the capacity for violence. Their story is frequently referenced in discussions about criminal psychology, familial patterns of behavior, and the societal need to better understand and address the roots of violent behavior. Larry and Danny Raines are emblematic of the dark and often incomprehensible aspects of human psychology. Their story continues to be studied by criminologists, psychologists, and law enforcement as a means to better understand and hopefully prevent similar tragedies in the future. The legal proceedings against Larry and Danny Raines were closely watched. Larry was tried and convicted for the murder of Maggie Hume, receiving a life sentence. His trial was notable for its focus on forensic evidence and psychological evaluation, which was still relatively novel at the time. Danny's crimes, on the other hand, led to multiple charges of murder. His trial shed light on the brutal nature of his offences and his seeming lack of remorse. Danny was also sentenced to life in prison, marking the end of a terrifying chapter for the communities affected. The Role of Media in the Raines Cases The media coverage of the Raines brothers played a significant role in shaping public perception of the case. Newspapers and television reports often portrayed the brothers as embodiments of pure evil, a narrative that was sensationalized to an extent. This coverage sparked debates about the role of media in reporting on crime, particularly in how it influences public opinion and the judicial process. 
Family Dynamics and Criminological Studies The Raines Brothers case is particularly interesting to criminologists due to the rarity of having two serial killers within the same family. Studies have delved into their family history, looking for clues that might explain their descent into criminality. These investigations consider factors like parental influence, childhood trauma, and genetic predispositions to antisocial behavior. Societal Responses and Preventive Measures In the wake of the Raines brothers' crimes, there was an increased societal focus on preventive measures against such violent offenses. This included enhanced community awareness programs, better resources for mental health, and more effective law enforcement training. The case underscored the importance of early intervention in cases of family violence and the need for comprehensive support systems for at-risk youth. The incarceration of the Raines brothers also prompted discussions about the goals of the criminal justice system.